Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines, brought to you by PU Prime. Hello and welcome to Monday's Daily Financial Review. Here's what's making headlines in the markets today. Global hedge funds this week bought U.S. information technology stocks, such as semiconductors and hardware, at the fastest in five months amid the start of the third quarter earnings season. According to Goldman Sachs, oil futures fell on Friday, declining more than 7% on the week after data showed China's economic growth slowed and investors digested a mixed Middle East outlook. Brent settled more than 7% lower this week, while WTI lost around 8%, marking their biggest weekly declines since September the 2nd. The US dollar fell on Friday, taking a breather after five straight days of gains, as risk appetite increased following yet another round of stimulus measures from China that bolstered global equities led by Chinese stocks. The dollar dropped 0.4% against the yen in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.2%. According to the stochastic indicator, we are in an overbought market. The Aussie dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a positive signal. The oil dollar pair dove 2% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The US three-month bill auction will be released at 15.30 GMT. The US six-month bill auction at 15.30 GMT. Germany's producer price index at 6 GMT. China's PBOC interest rate decision will be released at 1.15 GMT. New Zealand's exports at 21.45 GMT. New Zealand's imports at 21.45 GMT. We hope you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.